Hey everybody, this is your host Western Tech and today we're talking about the new event coming to Apex Legends. Now today we're focusing on the Evolution event because with most events comes a new heirloom for an operator uh, or a legend in this case. Uh, in this case it is Rampart and today we're taking a look at all of the Apex packs, her heirloom, and if it is worth it. So as you can see right here, it's 24 uh, Apex packs, just like normal, to unlock the heirloom. And uh, this is what the heirloom looks like. It's a wrench for Rampart to have. Um, if you've seen the trailers, it is pretty cool, I will say that. Uh, the quick answer for all of this, is it worth it? Is it worth all the money to spend? No. No, it is not. And let me explain why, okay? First of all, to get 10 packs, is 7,000 uh, Apex credits. And there's 24 packs. So you're gonna have to get at least two sets of 10 plus four individual packs. Now I did the math on my phone real quickly. That calculation comes out to 16,800 uh, credits you're going to need to get. Now if we come over to EA's Apex coins, we can see that at a discount of from $99 to $89, we can get 11,500. So not only are we going to have to get that, we're going to also have to get a $53.99 to get the 6,700 uh, 6, credits. That combined together, chat, will get enough coins to, to get all 24 packs. Now your question to me would be like, but Western, that's a steal. Getting all those packs with all those cool stuff for $143.98? Oh, wow not including tax, um, if that's your average spending on an event, then sure, I guess this event is just for you. Uh, but you, the amount of things you can buy with that amount of money is ridiculous. That's legit EA just saying, hey, we deserve the best. Uh, and I don't like it. I don't like it at all. It's way too much money to be spending on, on getting in just an event that comes every season almost. Now, that being said, the skins that are coming with this event are quite cool. I will admit that, okay? EA does a very good job when they bring out events for Apex that they have really cool skins for guns and characters. My frustration is it is all chance, right? You don't know what you're going to get. A, they don't give us a free Apex pack, which I think they should do. It hopefully entices people like, hey, you got one of them that is really cool or, or somewhat cool. You can get another one, right? That might entice people to buy a couple more. Um, or something that I've seen recently in Rainbow Six Siege is that you can buy exclusive packages of the skins and the guns that you want from these uh, 24 packs or whatever, how many there is, but they cost just a little bit more because you don't have to guess. I can appreciate that a lot more than it's completely random. And if you want the ones you want, you're going to have to keep guessing. Or if you want to get a heirloom, you're going to need to, to buy all of them. That being said, that's my little bit of rant of what Apex can do better. Let's go ahead and look at the skins themselves and see uh, what, what they look like. Because again, some of them are really cool, but let, let's take a closer look. So right here we have, first we have uh, Crypto. Very cool kind of cyberpunk style. Next we have Mirage, super cool, kind of glowing eyes. We have a Longbow. And again, this is just the epics. These aren't even legendary, but I, I think they did a fantastic job on, on making it look very futuristic and cyberpunky kind of style. So to that point, nice job, EA. I will, I will give you uh, praise for that. 3030 30 obviously is a newer gun that came out last season. So this is very uh, nice to keep getting more and more skins. We got all the trusty hemlock up next. This one I don't feel is as amazing. I feel it's a little bit plain. I feel that there's a lot more better ones. Then we have a lifeline stance. A wraith stance. Which is pretty cool, I will say. We have Sears skydive emote. We 
We have some charms here. I'm not ever really impressed by the charms, so I don't really spend too much time looking at them or focusing on them. Atta boy. Old bot new tricks. Then we have a shotgun master blaster. This one looks really cool too. So these legendaries, I, I think, I mean, this one looks a little bit like some ones that they're giving out, I think, for the battle pass or for completing the treasure packs. But it's still pretty cool. Now this gun is, I am impressed with how cool it looks. This Wraith skin looks really cool. I mean, I have I have the helmeted one, but this one I think would be worth getting if you were a Wraith main. Very, uh, very uh, nice looking. Pathfinder as well gets a very uh, more uh, robot kind of look. I mean, he's already a robot, but this is more like futuristic robot. Rampart also has a skin. Obviously, since it's her event, she better get a good one. Lifeline. The Alabaster Titan. This one's really cool too. We have Fuse, Cybernetic, Octane. I don't play Octane, I know he's a favorite, but uh, I still have to say this one looks very cool. I feel like a lot of his skins make him look like he's a Power Ranger or something, and I appreciate it. <laughs> and then we have last but not least, Bangalore, going Thanos apparently. I will be a set chat. Overall, I'm very impressed with how they look. Uh, something I did just notice right now is that you can buy them individually for coins or for uh, materials. So I do kind of redact my statement a little bit earlier. Um, so thank you for that. But I don't know if that has been previous seasons. If not, then tell me in the comments if, if I was wrong and that's always been a thing. But um, I'm still a little frustrated that you have to spend so much money just to get an heirloom. It's a very frustrating feeling to, to feel like that. All right, but that uh, that wraps it up. That's what the whole event has for for uh, Apex Packs and the Heirloom. Hope you enjoyed. And if you uh, have a skin specifically that you love, let me know in the comments below. Until next time, have a good one.